let's get this one started. Oh, it's good to see it has analog. Oh, Ubisoft. Everybody's favorite. Log into Uplay. Speaking of Ubisoft, Ubisoft did the dirtiest thing to me. Ubisoft literally sent me a thing saying, congratulations, new kid, you've won in South Park, the Fractured But Whole. And then it had the gall to try to sell me stuff. It's like, now that you beat it, get your own custom character on a t-shirt. What? And then, to make things even better, they uh, they sent me a thing saying like, oh, your password. Um, you know, there was an error with your password, so I updated my password on Uplay just in case anything happened. What they did instead was, it's like, thanks for updating. Have you checked out these new sale deals? I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, they literally trolled me. Also, I've never seen this movie. Like, I've seen, like, the box for it, but I don't know anybody who's seen this movie. And I haven't seen it. I wonder if there's a Disney princess that they're hiding from us in this movie. Here's your copyright strike. Your copyright strike. Copyright strike. Uh, uh. Oh, speaking of Fever Dream, I watched a movie the other day, and don't get me wrong, I love Luc Besson, I love Fifth Element, I, those are great, great movies. But, I watched that, whatever, Rydia and the Thousand Worlds, Rumbia, whatever his fucking name is, uh, Rufio and the Three Thousand Worlds, that movie was a clusterfuck. Like, the characters had no arc. They were unlikable, and they had, like, a love story that didn't even make sense. They weren't even dating, but they were supposed to get married. Like, there's all this because movie stuff. There's a scene where she gets, like, 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 uh, she has to wear a special dress, but she's wearing this armor, and she has to carry, yeah, Viridian. And it, then she takes off all her armor and puts on this dress, but she's still carrying the item she needed. And I'm like, uh, okay. And there's like all this blatant sexual harassment. Whoa. What is, what is going on? What am I doing? Oh, fuck. oh my! That Oviraptor is attacking the nest! I have to rescue that egg. I'll have a look. Phew! I saved the egg. I can land on it to pick it up, and then take off to carry it to a safer place. That moss patch where I started is a safe place to put the egg down. Okay, now I actually have control. I was like, damn, am I really this good at piloting a bird? Oh, get up, burb. And then, uh, I forget the, like, you could feel the fifth element in it, though, like, really hard. Where was the moss patch? Is it up here? Moss patch is a safe place to put the egg down. And, uh, oh, we watched another movie. And I, it's so bad I couldn't even remember what, what it is. Oh. No, whoa, whoa. Icy controls. 
Although we started watching the Punisher and the Punisher is pretty good. Yeah, come on. Why is what? Why are we taking care of some other dinosaur? Uh, what? That sounds like a baby crying. I better go see if it needs help. If you see lightning strike a tree, collect the balls of energy from it as fast as you can. Save that energy to use later as a powerful special attack. Wait, is that the... Oh, what's his name? The old... Old black guy from... He was in What About Bob and Grumpy Old Men. Oh, I can't remember his name. Or Grumpy or Old Man he was in? I don't remember. Okay. Oh, yeah. And now, I know the baby needs... Okay, so both of those buttons point to the baby baby wants fruit. Let's just walk over here. Hi, I'm Flea. This is my new friend Aladar. I think he's hungry. There's a fruit tree here by the moss, but I can't get the fruit. What's your name? Can you help? Phila is now a Disney princess. Like, don't get me wrong, some of the effects and ideas were really cool, but it... It looks like there was too much script for a movie. On the tree and climb up to pick the fruit. I have the fruit. Now I can jump off the tree and bring the fruit over to Aladar so I can feed him. I have the fruit. Okay, yeah, I got it. No, nope, get off the tree, dumb fuck. Choose the fruit and then choose who you want to feed. Just feed him poison ivy. Only feed a friend. If you are near each other. I think he's still hungry. I saw a fruit tree over by the nest where I found the egg. Be careful though. There were some nasty creatures nearby. Ugh. I need really need to empty this ashtray. But I'm trying to say there was another... I can't remember the other movie. Mm. Although, I do have to say, plus one for Little Evil on Netflix. Which is quite possibly the greatest, just for the goat puppet. And making fun of the omen. That's like... Gold to be able to get away with making fun of the omen and do a good job. Wow, oh, that jump kick's real effective. Also, I'm like an early primate. What am I doing helping dinosaurs? You aiding in your extinction? And my problem is, is... They picked... Oh, the most, like, I don't know, apathetic characters. Like, the, the two actors in that movie, for Viridian or whatever, were so bland. I mean, they had, like, nothing going on. And that girl, all I remember her from was Suicide Squad, and she was, like, the best actor in Suicide Squad. Yeah, I know. He was so unlikable.
Alidar must be... Okay, that's a dead one. This is the best part of the game so far. <laughs> I could I could listen to that all day. But uh, no, there's no no story arc, nothing. There's nothing of interest. Yeah. I really couldn't tell what they were going for with him. And they tried to do, like, this whole, like, uh, like, oh, misogyny isn't okay. But he was, like, the most misogynist, pig-headed character, and he was just completely unlikable. And then she's just like, of course I'll marry you. Yeah, pretty much. The entire thing was like, I have a vagina, therefore I'm important. Like, oh, fuck off. Hey, Aladar, I'm back. My, how you've grown. Lucky for you, I have more fruit to feed you. But. It doesn't matter whose genitals or what genitals you have. Yeah, I know. It wouldn't let you write dick. Seriously. He's sure. All right. So far, this game is actually pretty good. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Fruit trees. But there are three meat eaters near them. I better go back and report to Zinni oh, okay. so we can make a plan. Don't worry. Zaman was on my stream previously trying to write all sorts of colorful words as those wonderful Russians always do. This packing ability is a little weird. What's this? Whoa. Lady, calm down. You're going way too fast now. That was weird. Well, at this point... I don't think we were have to worry too much about it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what what this game wants. Can I? I found okay. fruit tree. As much as I like the voice. Good idea, Flea. Ooh, I've been playing with Aladar, and I found out the hard way that he's got a powerful tail swing. He can use it to attack those bad guys. But right now, I have another idea. Aladar, swing your tail into a boulder and break it into some stones for me. Okay. Hey, that gives me an idea too. I can stun enemies by striking them with a branch in my beak, or dropping it on them from above. <laughs> a branch in my beak also blocks some of the damage from enemy attacks. Aladar, you can swing your tail into a sapling to make branches for me. This is this Okay, sticks and stones coming up. The this game surprisingly has a lot going on for it for a kids game. <laughs> Grab all the sticks. There we go. I've done it. I'll have a look. And the voice acting isn't, like, staticky awful.
Well, not too much I can do on the island here. So I'm not sure exactly what they want here me to I do. I'll have a look. <laughs> now that we have supplies, we're ready to go. But the river's too deep for me to cross on my own. I'm not such a good swimmer. I know. You can ride on my back, Zinni. Good thinking, Aladar. Let's all team up. Once we're across the river, we can separate or team up again whenever we need to. Interesting. Here I go. Man, if dinosaurs were this complex, humans would have never existed. No. I'll have a look. Oh yeah. And I do have to say, each the character trees are up ahead. Are kind of <laughs> form Voltron, Dinatron. I can rush at them and attack with my tail swing. I can attack by throwing stones. Now, if I hold steady before releasing my throw, I can control my aim. Okay. I can die. Yeah, I don't need to. Alright. Okay. So, they have a power move. Ha! Ah, take that! for existing. No. The trees are a little wonky. I can only jump off of really tall trees if there's a hay barrel below it. Press circle to pull out monkey's wrist blades. I know. They got deflated. Alright, so... Mm, that's good. Mm, that's good. That's good. Okay, are there more enemies? Or... Do they just want me to go on like a mass genocide and kill everything? The only way we'll be safe is by killing all the other guys. Here I go. Yeah, I guess we're supposed to murder all the other dinosaurs. Well. Dun dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. I can pick up stuff while riding on him. To distract your enemies, jump up and down again and again. Yeah, too bad for these lemurs. They'll just go extinct. That would actually be great to create, like... Easy now. Hang on. To make a, a movie about dinosaurs. And make it this whole big epic thing where you fall in love with the dinosaurs. And then just, like, the fucking meteor hits them all and they all die. That would actually be kind of great. Although, I'm not a proponent of the meteor theory. I think there was something else going on.
Nice. I don't know. I've always been a supporter of uh, aliens wanted sick pets. We should spread that as a conspiracy theory. I think it'd go over well. The dinosaurs didn't go, didn't disappear. They were uh, over, over hunted by aliens who wanted pets. Those over raptors are nasty. Ah, see, it's fine. I had a crystal. We're all right. All right, you're sucking it like really bad. You you have a lot of hit points, but you're not a tank. Wow. I'll have a look. Well, I think that's enough of this. I know, they use it for like one episode because they needed it because that was the only way to defeat that monster. But I think I've had enough of this. I mean, it's an interesting concept for a movie that no one watched. And, I mean, the voice acting is good. I mean, there's not too much to hate on on this game. It's just, it's just boring. I mean, not much else to say. <laughs>